hi guys hope all of you are doing wonderful so in this tutorial i will teach you about map function in spice in PySpark what is it used and how to use it let's move to the definition so map function in PySpark is a trans, uh, transformation operation so basically if you consider each row as uh, element in rdd and you have created a function using map function you can apply uh, that function to each element of an rdd and it will return an element uh, from the function so basically you can apply it directly on rdd but you cannot apply it directly on data frame the map function uh, you have to convert it into rdd first so let's quickly jump into uh, demo example so here I am building one second I will clear the output so you can see all things fresh so this is a basic thing I am just creating a spark session and I am creating a RDD let's create a RDD within another column created this rdd so these are all the elements of rdd if you wanna think it broadly but this is not rdd doesn't have column name if you wanna think broadly you can consider john as one column and its age as another column but it doesn't have any column name and now when uh, we have defined one function which is pulling name and age from each rows and returning mister name comma age it will return these two for each row let's see how this works so what happening here rdd is created here let's see if rdd is created pr properly rdd dot color so you can see it has three elements the rdd has three data it's a tuple uh, okay let's move forward we have defined a function and we are applying using map function we are applying that add mister function to each element this is the element one two you can say it row as well and for each row it will return this row mister plus name comma age let's see how what happens Taking some time, be patient. Okay. Okay, you can see now they are it is still every element is still has two values in it. Now it has Mr. John, comma this, this, and John, this thing has gone. So you might be uh, thinking how that happened. Why like like when you create a user defined function for a spark data frame uh, spark data frame you can use with column right and you can create a new column for uh, mr john but you cannot do that here you can do one thing if you want this column as well you can just uh, put a name here and then do comma this is, you have to return the whole column this is the logic here yeah, even in pandas this is not very this is similar to apply in pandas but not very similar because again in pandas you can do for uh, you can create a new column and apply on certain columns you cannot do that here because the concept of column is not available here hope that clear let it run the whole row let's see what happens So if you are doing something with RDD you have to like do for the whole row if you consider an element as row. So you can see this. Hope this is uh, most I hope this is useful. Most of the time people use the user defined function and it parse data frame to do calculation because we have more control and flexibility there. 
hope this was understandable the map function thanks a lot